This is nice. I really like this. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Eric. And I'm John, and welcome to John's RC. And today, John and I are going to talk to you guys about this brand new E Flight T28 1.1 meter Trojan. John will talk to you about the specs, and then I will talk to you about the, the build process for the plane. And then afterwards, John's going to do the maiden, and I'm also going to try to fly this plane as well. Okay, so like my dad said, uh, this is E Flight's newest release on a model. This is the Trojan 1.1 meter plane, and it's a beautiful replica of the original North American Aviation T28 Trojan. It came as a bind and fly model, so that means you have to supply yourself with your own transmitter, your own flight battery, and your own flight battery charger. Uh, the transmitter I'm going to be using is my Spectrum NX8, and the flight battery I'm going to be using for the Maiden is going to be a Forest 2200 milliamp hour battery pack that's already in here. And like my dad said, again, uh, we're both going to fly it, so I'm going to fly on the forest and my dad's going to be on the 3S. Three it has a wingspan of 1120mm, has a length of 915mm, and it has a 30 amp ESC that's compatible with 3S and 4S. It can use a 3S or 4S 1800 to 2200mAh battery pack. And that 30 amp ESC is tied to a 930kV brushless outrunner motor. This is the inside of the plane. Uh, this is where the battery goes. Like I said, it's a Forest 2200 milliamp hour battery pack. And deep in there is my 30 amp ESC that's installed. And the receiver it comes with is a Spectrum AR631 six channel sport receiver. So, yeah. As you can see, the model looks very, very nice. It's the yellow and black paint job of the T28 Trojan. And it's actually a newer model of an older version of the Trojan. Uh, if you recall, I did made a video of the Park Zone T20 Trojan, the UMX one that has sadly been discontinued. So, yeah, E-Flight decided to make a bigger and better one. So, now my dad will talk to you about the build process. Thanks, John. Well, guys, here's the good news. No challenges on this build. This was probably the easiest plane John and I ever had to assemble for this size plane. Uh, if you look over here... <coughs> This plane, the entire plane, the whole build, is held together by one screw, and that's it right there, okay? So it's a one-piece wing, and all you've got to do is shoot over the aileron cables, the aileron servo cables, through the fuse, and then you attach it back to the receiver. The horizontal stabilizer, no screws, no glue. You basically slide it into place, and then you hold it down by four strips of uh, this tape that's it if you look over to the wheels you can see that the wheels basically they don't even just snap on they just well actually they do so you just enter from the side they just snap on to the side and this okay you you just insert it into the servo itself okay and then you just tighten the servo because it is a steerable nose wheel now the reason why they did it this way was because obviously uh, they wanted you to be able to take out the gears at any time so that you can belly land it if you wanted to. And if you look at the, uh, you look at this propeller, okay, this is not one of those tough plastic propellers, see, there's a lot of bend on it, so that way when you land it on grass, you don't easily snap the prop, okay. Uh, so the only thing I thought that was odd um, for, this, for this plane was, if you look closer over here, you notice that on the battery, the way that it works is you have to shoot the battery through this cavity, okay, between the firewall. So it's like the firewall. So you got to get through all these cables here, 
shoot the cables over and then you have to push this battery all the way in uh, or else if you don't push it all the way in the canopy won't actually close so it's not like you you have a lot of leeway on where you put the battery the battery has to go all the way inside or this will physically not close and I think John has already mentioned but it does have an AR631 receiver which comes in with built-in telemetry so that way you can monitor the voltage the, the ESC there's a lot of information that you can monitor right out of your uh, controller so I think that's pretty much it John so good luck to you on your first maiden thank you and one thing I forgot to mention is that this model has safe select so yeah with safe on that means you'll just have limited freedom in your bank and pitch and yeah let's go and fly this guys all right let's do it okay. all right guys so we got the t28 all plugged in john's gonna fly first uh he's gonna be using the 4s 2200 john let's just do a quick check again give me ailerons give me elevators rudder uh, a little throttle all right, I think we're good to go, buddy. Good luck to you. All right, I'm going to be taking off with safe on, just to be safe. Looks like it taxis pretty straight, which is nice. Don't know what's gonna happen when I go full throttle, though. Um, taking off! Here we go. Okay, first thing I notice, um, looks kind of tail heavy. Alright, yeah, it's still tail heavy. Um, hmm, okay. Yeah. Alright, let me do a low pass on safe. Trimmed it out, trimmed the tail heaviness out. Very nice. 4S gives it a lot of power. I mean, I haven't checked 3S yet. Lots of power. Um, actually, let me... Um... Let me, uh, take the trim out, and let me go out of safe. So, I can see, uh... Trim this down. Alright, this is normal. Alright, going out of safe. Alright, so now I can uh, see if it was just safe. I'm oh, just like being weird. Alright, uh, yeah, it's kind of tail heavy. Few trims, there we go. Let me do a low pass without safe. Nice. Still kind of tail heavy. And I noticed that it likes to kinda drift uh, left. Let me trim that right. Um, let me do a loop. Really nice plane. Looks very nice. It's very stable too after I got that trimmed out of the way. Tickle bow, but it's fixed now. Um, what time do I have left? Three minutes? Okay. can already see that this is 10 times better than that UMX Trojan that we had. I remember sometimes I had aileron problems with the UMX one. This is nice. I really like this. Let me do another loop.
<laughs> All right, um, two minutes, uh, give you a few more passes and then going to land. Sounds really nice. Um, yeah. I'm gonna wait for this person to get off the runway and then I'll start landing. Right. Landing! Alright, here we go. Alright guys, so that was my main flight on the E-Flight T-28 Trojan. Flew very well after I got uh, that elevator trimmed out because it was very tail heavy when I first uh, took uh, when I first took off. So yeah, it was very stable. I was able to do all my maneuvers. I was able to do my low passes, loops, rolls upside down. So yeah, uh, now my get will fly on the three cell. Alright, so how much uh, did you have to put for elevator? Plus 40. Well, okay. All right, guys. Now it's my turn. All right, guys. We got the Trojan all plugged in again. This time I'll be using a three-cell, 2200 milliamp-hour battery. I am going to be flying uh, mainly on safe mode. If I get courageous, maybe I'll take it out of safe, but we'll see. <laughs> all right, John. Wish me luck. Good luck, Dad. I need you to stay by here in case I have to. <laughs> Pass the controls over to you. All right. Oh boy. Taking off. All right. Let's do this. It is in the air. So far, very smooth. Of course, I am on safe mode. This one's easy. Wow, it's very, very stable. Look at that, I can even do a low pass, I think. Try to uh, aim towards the runway. Okay, all right. Try to get it more into the runway. All right, maybe now turning, turning. How about that, huh? No pass. Careful. <laughs> I think that's a low pass. <laughs> that's a low pass. All right, you're clear. Can you take it off the safe for one second? I want to see what it feels like. Ready? Ready. Whoa. Half my switch on it. Ah, uh, safe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How's it feel? All right. Feels pretty good, but I'm not yet ready to take it off safe just <laughs> yet. Just yet. But I want to do my first loop. Hold on. All right. When I get to the straightaway, let's take it out of safe again. Ready? Go a bit higher. Oh yeah. Like high. <laughs> there we go. Okay, take it out of safe. Ready? Yeah. 
Whoa! Let's pull up. All right, safe, safe. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. <laughs> oh, that was scary, John. <laughs> that was scary. Up, oh, careful. Gosh, it's definitely a lot slower on the 3S from watching you fly. I see you're pretty close to full throttle, so yeah. You're clean. All right, let me try this again. Let me try this low pass again. I guess if I can get it centered. Sorry about that. Oh, no, no problem. problem. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it, John. She's definitely a slow flyer on safe, I mean on 3S. Seems like it would be a good park flyer. This is a good park flyer, definitely great for beginners like me. Look at that. I'm getting better at it now. So at least it's flying straight. Alright, we'll do a turn. How am I doing on battery time? Uh, you have a minute and 30 left. Minute and 30 left, okay. So you should probably start landing uh, okay, after cool. this after so this let's turn. Let's do one more pass and then we'll land. Alright, so tell me again when to cut the throttle. No. Like slow, don't like fully cut it, just like. Well, there you go, there you go. Alright, cut, cut, cut. Okay, slow down. Pull up, flare, flare. Nice. Very nice. That, huh? All right, taxi it back. Not exactly center line, but it works. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I definitely gotta get used to that rotor wheel. All right, good job. All right, guys. Well, that was my uh, flight on the Trojan T28 on the 3S. It actually flew very, very stable, and it was very slow. I tried to go out of I mean out of safe mode for like a little bit, but I I kind of panicked, <laughs> so I asked John to put it back. But I was able to do at least one loop, so that was good. So John, I respect your skills because uh, you are an incredible flyer. Thank you. You make this thing look easy, and uh, quite honestly, what you do is not easy. All right, guys. So uh, thanks for watching uh, our channel. And. If you're new here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.